He's done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. If I have ten thousand tongues, he still would be enough. forgives you. When you are weak, he keeps you strong. When you are lost, he shows you the way. When you are afraid, he gives you courage. When you stumble, he steadies you. When you are hurt, he heals you. When you are broken, he mends you. When you are blind, he leads you. When you are hungry, he feeds you. When you face trials, he is with you. When you face persecutions, he shields you. When you face problems, he comforts you. When you face loss, he provides for you. And when you face death, he carries you home. No wonder the botanist called him the tree of life. And caterers call him the bread of life. And carpenters call him the door. Zoologists call him the lion of the tribe of Judah. Sociologists call him the love of God. Medical doctors call him the great physician. Morticians call him the risen one. Photographers call him the image and the likeness of God. Sportsmen and women call him the strength and energizer. Industrialists call him the great supplier. Lawyers call him the mediator, the advocate. Oceanographers call him the river of living water. Horticulturists call him the first fruit. Transporters call him the way. Administrators call him the governor. Journalists call him the truth. Biologists call him the life. Gardeners call him the rules of Sharon. Governments call him the supreme authority. Philosophers and professors call him the wisdom of God. Evangelists call him the soul winner. Publishers call him the author. Architects call him the chief cornerstone. Archaeologists call him the beginning. Footballers call him the captain. Animal scientists call him the good shepherd. Judges call him the righteous judge. Sinners simply call him the savior. The king of kings. The prince of peace. The El Shaddai. The lily of the valley, the rock of ages, the bright and morning star, the omniscient God, the all-sufficient God, the one who is, the one who is to come, and the one who forever will be. I call him my father. I call him my creator. I call him my comforter, my healer. 
my provider. We call him the soon coming king. He's everything for everybody. Everything. Everywhere. Everything. Every time. Everything. And in every way. He is God. He is faithful. You are his. I am his. And he is ours forever and ever. Just bow your heads for a moment. Will you just go ahead and say a word of thank you to him? Reverend, just go ahead and say, Papa, thank you. This night of all Jesus, Jesus, thank you. Holy Spirit, thank you. December 2021. I appreciate you for who you are and for what you do. If not for you, where will I be? Blessed be your name. Just go ahead and this say thank you was to brought him. to you. Say thank you to him. Award TV. To Maybe you are here tonight of divine destiny. Your of life has been more of constant grumbling and complaining. Mecca you had a testimony of our sister who said Ocha. the spirit impressed it on her Anabra heart is to, go to, Anabra. to just worship God that morning. And later in the day, glorious, is beautiful. It's and lovely. her son was there. It's when the Lord Christ. was with her and the Lord saw her through it all. Maybe your life has been more of constant grumbling, complaining, fault finding and negativity. All of that comes from a heart that is not totally sold out on Christ. Maybe tonight you want to give your heart to Jesus. Maybe tonight you want to say to Jesus the quintessentially thankful one to come into your heart. Wherever you are, as you hear the sound of my voice, you may just stand on your feet as I lead you in this prayer. And when you look up, there are numbers on the screen that you'll be able to call and they'll give you more directions and more teaching on how to be truly thankful in every circumstance of life. If you want to reconsecrate your heart to God tonight, and you want to accept Jesus, if you've never known it before, and you just want to accept the thankful one into your heart, you want to accept Jesus into your heart tonight, then say this prayer with me. Pray with me, say, Lord Jesus, you are my all. You are my beginning and my end. Without you, I am nothing. Without you, I have nothing. And without you, I can do nothing. I consecrate my heart to you tonight. Come, Lord Jesus, reign in my heart. I give my life to you. All that I am, all that I ever will be, all that I have, all that I ever will have, I surrender to you tonight, Lord. Fill me with your presence and your power. Captivate my heart. Scripture says, if anyone is in you, Christ Jesus, such a person is a new creature. All things are passed away. I come to you tonight, Lord Jesus, and I ask you to make me new. Amen. Renew me. Renew me Refresh me. Refresh, make me truly thankful all the days of my life. I will make my life the only way in place I will be your throne in my heart Lord come Father come Son 
is your sanctuary, my body is your sanctuary, you refine me like gold, so am I people to say my body is your sanctuary. Dear Lord, we thank you because our joy is multiplying as we receive you into our hearts. And so in whatever way that we may have sinned against you and disobeyed your word and your instructions, please show us mercy. Show us divine mercy according to your loving kindness and forgive our sins. Lord, we seek your mercy and your favors in our lives. We seek your mercy and your favors in our families, in our homes, in our children's lives, in our marriages, in our nation, Nigeria, in our businesses, we seek your mercy and your favor in government. We seek your mercy and your favor in our churches, in our parishes. Father, by your mercy, listen to our cry and open the floodgates of testimonies for us. Blind Bartimaeus cried out to you, to your son Jesus, to have mercy on him. And blind Bartimaeus received his sight. We pray for mercy tonight, Lord. Show us mercy. And as you show us mercy, Lord, stretch forth your healing hand upon our land. Your word says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn away from their iniquities, you will hear them. You will heal their land. Heal our nation, O God. Heal our hearts. Heal broken hearts. Heal heavy hearts. Heal broken bodies. Heal as many as are sick tonight. You hold the universe in your hand. You place the stars in the skies and lay the deep foundations of each planet. Father, we call upon you now to heal cancerous groups, to heal every invasion of the bodies of your children in the name of the King of Kings. Your word says by his wounds you were healed. Let the healing power of the blood of Jesus flow in this place right now. And as many as are watching at home, may the power of the blood of the Lamb flow from the crowns of their heads to the soles of their feet. Let every sickness and disease be flushed out of their systems. Let lost cells be renewed and healed by your grace. Let every vital organ be transformed by the power in the blood of the Lamb. Let kidneys be healed. Let livers be healed. Let lungs be healed. Let wounds be healed. Let ankles, knees, muscles, tissues, nerves be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the power of your anointing fall upon us. It is your word that says by the anointing the yoke shall be broken and the burden shall be lifted. Let yokes break tonight, O oh God. Yokes of sickness and disease, generational illnesses, let them be broken. Let them be broken. And let your children be set free to live in the abundance of your freedom and your glory. As many as stand on this ground tonight, by the reason of standing under the power of your anointing, let their bodies be healed of every ailment. Let their bodies be healed of every ailment. Let their minds be healed. Let mental disorders be gone. Let hormonal imbalances be healed. 
Let wounds be healed. Let relationships be healed by the power and the name that is above every other name. Lord Jesus, just one touch, just one touch from you is all that we require. Heal the broken, transform the darkness, because only you can do this. Let immune systems be healed. Let grace be abundant. Let joy be plentiful. And let your people be always thankful. For there is none like unto you. You are God above every other. We worship you. And we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. If you just gave your heart to Jesus, shout hallelujah. And if you are excited that someone next to you gave their heart to Jesus, shout hallelujah. Third John verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prospereth. This charge of the Saint John or Apostle John is one charge that is fulfilled using the unusual entrepreneur platform here at Unusual Praise. To talk to us for one minute quite briefly about this before I proceed with it, I'd like to welcome the